What's going on, everybody? Hey, this is Craig Dacey here, and I'm going to be teaching you a little bit of a, a trick on every dollar that's something a lot of people don't know about. Now, before we get into it, I do want to invite you to join a private Facebook group that is designed to support people on using every dollar. It's brand new, just launched it this week, actually, if, if you're watching this as this video launches. And it's just a group of people using every dollar to do their budget, to track their budgets. So jump in that group. It's free. I'm going to leave it in the description, a link in the description below. Jump in there. We'd love for you to be a part of that group. Now, in every dollar, what a lot of people aren't aware of is that over here on the left side of the screen, you can actually look and track your baby steps. It's going to be tracking them for you. Now, what's great about this, number one, is that uh, it has all the baby steps for you and it's automatically updating it. It gives you a description of what each one is. So if you're not familiar with them, you can follow them, read the description, follow what you're doing. And there's even some resources in here that you can use. So five ways to save for thousand dollars quickly right here under baby step one. Um, over here as you get to baby step two, how the debt snowball method works. So for those of you who, who maybe haven't read the total money makeover, who haven't been through the Financial Peace University class, this is some good resources for you to know what baby steps you're using and how to really make the progress you're wanting to make. Now, if you look over here, I have $0 saved for the emergency fund. This is the, the account I use for these videos. So this is the dummy account is what I call it. So I'm going to come over here to the emergency fund. I just want to show you. If I, let's just say I do have $1,000 in the bank. Let's say I started using every dollar today and I already have $1,000 in my savings account. Well, I can go in here and put change my starting balance. By clicking on the fund itself, I can, I can tweak this stuff. So when I press right here, I can do the starting balance is $1,000. Then I'll hit save. Now over here, you'll notice that it's tracking how much I have in the account. With funds, if it's a fund, like my emergency fund, or I can make any of these a fund if I want to, it's going to track how much money I've been saving. So no matter what I budget this month, if I were to plan to put 50 bucks in here, you'll notice that $50 plus the thousand that started there, I'm now going to have a thousand dollars, $1,050. So that's one trick you can do. I have another video on how to use funds. I go really in depth on it. So check that out. It's on my page. Subscribe to the channel. You can find it in there. But what I want to show you is we, we have a thousand dollars. So if I come back over here, it's this little box icon on the left. You'll see now it says baby step one complete, $1,000 saved so far. So I am done with baby step one. It knows the emergency fund is filled. So now I'm on baby step two, and it's going to be tracking my debt snowball. So far on this account, I've paid off $450 of the $43,000. So if I come back over here to my debt snowball, um, that's going to be over here. When I On the debts, when I set them up, I put the current balance. What is owed on this car is 15000 and the minimum payments. Here's what I've paid so far. So if this is the first month, I've paid 450 bucks. So that's why it's saying I've paid 450 out of my total debt. Over here on my student loans, it was 28000 So it took both of those balances, put them together, and then we have your, my total of $43,000 in debt. So it's going to track your debt snowball, which is awesome. What you do have to make sure you do, though, is add these transactions in. You notice that it said I'd only paid off 450 bucks. Well, it's because I didn't add a transaction for the student loan. So if I come over here, I can do this on my phone. I can do it on the computer. The minimum payment for the student loan was only just 312 bucks. So if I, let's say I made that minimum payment. Track expense. Okay, so I've made that payment here. So when I come back over to the box, it's going to show I've paid off more debt than I did before. So I've made, now paid off $762. So it's fantastic. Now, because we want an every dollar budget, you'll notice I have $390 left to budget. Well, if I'm really working my debt snowball, I'm going to put it towards the smallest balance. So this debt is $28,000. This debt was $15,000. So I'm going to pay this $390 on top of this car payment. So $390, it's going to be $540. So $840 bucks is what I'm actually going to be playing, paying. 
So I'm making that extra $390 payment on the car. I now have an every dollar budget or an every, yeah, my budget is zero base balance. So it's gonna track the expense for me eventually. And it's gonna show up on the other, other side. That did not work for some, let's try that again. So $390 is what I had. It doesn't feel like working, so, but it's gonna show up over here as well as an extra payment. So that's how to use this baby steps right here to help you on your debt snowball as you're working your way through. All right, guys, thank you for checking it out. Make sure you subscribe to my videos. I'm posting things on every dollar, budgeting, personal finance, anything and everything. I'm constantly posting videos, so I'd love for you to subscribe there. And then hop into that Facebook group. I think you'll really like the support. It's completely free. We're there to help each other as we all walk the same financial journey. All right, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.